Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta and today we are going to talk about structural break in AVOs. Basically, it's a phenomena when a time series abruptly changes, changes at a point of time. This change can involve a change in mean or a change in other parameters of the process that produces the series. In economics, a structural break might occur when there is a war or a major change in government policy or some equally sudden event has happened. Here, I mean to say is that the mean of any series is changed permanently. And this change in the mean is because of a change in maybe a government policy or a war. Now, can structural breaks be detected in the series? So, If we are aware about the dates, we can go for exogenous detections. If we are not aware about the dates, then we can go for endogenous detections. Now, there are some methods to detect the structural break. We can carry out the Chow test. First, the basic thing is breakpoint date should be known. Then there are two methods of doing this. Plot the graph of the series, plot the Kusum SQ, and you'll be able to get that from where there is a change in the mean. Then carry out the F statistics. If it is significant, the null hypothesis of uh, this test is no, uh, there is no breakpoint. The null hypothesis of no breakpoint is rejected. If it is not significant, we fail to reject the null hypothesis of no breakpoint. Now, let us see how we can carry out this in AVUs. So, we will go in the data file. Let us open the series savings. Next thing which you have to do is view graph and click on OK. You can see here the graph. Now, I'll scroll a little bit so that I can detect where is the shift in the mean. So, I feel that there is some change here which has happened. Can you see here? There is some change which has happened. Now, I'll carry out the stability diagnostics to detect. Is there any significant change in the mean or not? So for that purpose, I will go in quick estimate equation. And here I'll write down savings, C, income, enter. I'll get the equation. Now from here, you will have to go in view, stability diagnostics, recur recursive estimates, OLS only. Click OK. After that, you will have to click on Kusum of squares test. Click OK. You will get the answer. Now you can see here there is a break in the model. The estimates are not stable. This blue line has crossed the uh, red line, and because of this, it is typically happening at 79, where the estimates have crossed the red line. So it means that there is a structural break, or there is a change in the series, or the mean has changed in the series. Now, we will have to carry out the Chow test. For this, again, I will go in View, Stability Diagnostics, and this time I will conduct Chow breakpoint test. So, I feel that the change has happened in the year 1978. I will activate it, 1978. Click OK. I got the result. You will have to see the p-value of this one. So, as the p-value of F statistics, sorry, as the p-value of this one, as the p-value of F statistics is less than 0 0.05, so we reject null hypothesis, which means that there is a presence of structural break. Let me take this on this word file so that how to write technically, we will write it. Let me take copy to the word file. Click OK. So, our null hypothesis is there is no structural break or no break point. Alternative is there is a structural break and there is a presence of break point. As the p-value of the F statistics is 0 0.0097, which is less than 5% level of significance, we reject the null hypothesis, which means that there is, a, there is a structural break in the series. In my next new video, I'll be talking about the remedies of the series having a structural break. Basically, we will have to carry out the ARDL model with a dummy variable. Kindly follow the next video. For more videos on econometrics,
kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter.